Hi, Genki Call here with tips and info on the new Underspire. Just came in with version 7.0. Got a lot of information here from the devs on the Underspire. I'm going to add a link to this um, to this information in the description box below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what I know about the Underspire, including tips and information on it. So um, you can read the official information or if you would like. I'm not going to go over all of that. I'm just going to go over the stuff that's really useful for you. First of all, how do you get to the Underspire? Well, there are two ways. The first is to go in here and click on the button that says in Underspire. That's the fastest, easiest way. If you know which kingdom we are currently in, go directly to that kingdom or look on the um, on the map for this blue symbol with the uh, moon and star in it. That is the kingdom we are currently visiting. You go there and for now, uh, hopefully this will be changed. Explore has been changed for the week for that one kingdom. It's the only place that you can get into the Underspire is for that one kingdom. You have to use the troops. Um, for that kingdom and you also have to use the weapon for that kingdom the underspire really is not meant for people that are low level it, to really get into this it's a gem sink if you really want to get through this you will get seven free torches per day up to seven free torches a day according to the information um, you can also buy more you can buy an additional 15 torches per day It'll cost you 300 gems to get the, the maximum. Now, the lanterns, I'm going to get into that in just a minute. Um, these are money locked, but you do get one free. So you fight the first battle in the Underspire, win it, and then you will reveal the merchant room. Merchant room, you go in here. The first merchant room you come to in the Underspire each week will give you one free lantern. Don't waste it. The lanterns, you can't click anywhere to see what the lantern does, but the lantern will give you double rewards for the room and um, it will allow you to see one extra space past um, where you currently are. So right now, visibility is blocked here, right? Now, something you may have noticed here, there's a keystone. In order to get to the keystones and progress in the dungeon, you have to have the keystone. Don't waste your gems on this. I mean, you can if you want to, but all of the loot and a free, uh, all of the loot and a free uh, keystone, sorry about that, is going to be in the boss rooms, which look like this. So once you find the boss room, you're going to go in here, use your lantern, click. You're going to get double rewards and also take a look at this. Oh, it went away. Hold on, hold on. Click. <gasps> it was there before. Hmm. It showed me what the rewards were here on the right hand side before. One of the rewards for this room guaranteed is a lesser orb of glory. So definitely worth using your free torches to get in here and fight these. Uh, but if you're using, oops, if you're using the lantern, you're going to get two. Yes. So we're just going to go in here. We're going to fight the boss. I need brown. I need blue. There's blue. I still need brown or blue, and since I don't have it, I will take this green. Um, I'm just using, just in case you're watching this during the week, I'm just using this for skull damage reduction. I could use it as a tank. Rage Reaver is fantastic uh, for getting red mana on an all um, Tauros team. And uh, I'm just going to hit Garniterlin. <laughs> and Tereus is just... Trace isn't going to last here in the dungeon for long because once you get past the keystone, all of the battles increase in difficulty. So I got a free keystone, I got 200 writs, and two lesser orbs of glory. So it would have been half of this, would have been 20 garnets and 100 writs and one of these, but I used the lantern. Um, is it worth it to pay an extra $2 to get double rewards in some of these rooms? Possibly. But you can see that the keystone is now unlocked. This is the path you're going to want to follow. Don't go any of these other paths. It's not worth it. These fights aren't going to give you anything special. They're just normal battles. And so you want to take the path where the keystone is once that you have unlocked it. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and show a couple more battles here. We're going to get past the keystone and then uh, we can talk about some of the other things to help you boost the, um, the underspire here. But, you know, they're money locked and we, we don't like that. We don't like the money lock. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and take this. Might as well. Near. Okay, my rage, my rage reaver is ready. We'll take out Medea and cast this and be done with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. See, nothing special from the rewards from these battles. You don't. If you go into a dead end and you three, see three battles and none of them are, um, none of them are a boss room. Just go back the other way. Don't go this way. Follow on past the. Uh, the keystone at this point so um, the extra visibility is great but double rewards for a room that gives you basically no rewards is a waste of a um, a lantern for sure uh, 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 uh. Ha, ha, ha. yes I'm taking that thank you go ahead and get some mana here and to kill all the things Let's see if we can find anything else interesting here. Now, I did say, <clears throat> also, you can zoom out. Um, so this map will be different for everyone. Don't bother trying to follow my map because they're procedurally generated per player. They're different for everyone because otherwise, you know, one person would map it out and then everybody would know exactly where to go, which would mean we'd be spending fewer gems and the gems, you know, of course, devs don't want that. This is meant to be a gem sink. Uh, anyway, so you can zoom out with this or you can also buy trinkets. Now these trinkets are explained on the forum with uh, that information I showed you early on. Uh, hello, I want to close that there. All right, and you can buy trinkets from this guy cost you gems it's not money but I mean gems eventually will run into money if you use too many of them but obviously the hex um, trinket is going to curse all enemies at the start of battle it's only for that one battle death mark all enemies one battle freeze all enemies one battle and so on and so forth anyway uh, once you've unlocked the keystone go this way which way shall I go sure we'll go this way I don't recommend buying the trinkets. Um, totally up to you. As far as the um, as the lanterns go, you know, again, that's personal point uh, choice. If it's worth it to you to spend uh, two dollars to get extra, you know, then it's worth it to you. And no judgment on that. If you want to spell spend real money on the game, what can I say? I have spent plenty of real money on this game, so. <laughs> I'm not one to talk. Again, base base rewards here. We'll go ahead and just for the sake of, um, you know, kind of showing you a little bit more of the uh, Underspire, um, we'll go ahead and keep going. All of the information that I wanted to give you, I've already gone over. Why did I do that? I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well, there we go. I just want to see if I can uncover a dead end or something else to... Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I have something to show you. Be back in a few minutes. Well, to you it'll be in about two seconds. Hold on. All right. So I did a little more exploring and you can see that I have uncovered the next um, mm -mm, keystone. I just have to go exploring some more. So I need to make sure that I don't double back on myself. These rooms are not going to lead anywhere. You have to go to the um, the previous key keystone and make sure it's somewhere past there. So I can go here, I can go here, or I can go here. There are a ton of rooms in here, guys. It's not going to be possible to finish the Underspire without spending gems. You just can't. But I do recommend using your free battles, getting your free lantern, and absolutely getting those double rewards for the boss room, at least the first boss room. Do what you can. Um, you know, this will be more fun later on when you have the resources to buy more torches. But anyway, 
that's the gist of it. I hope that um, you will let me know if you have any questions. Now, the Deep Shrine is only active every two weeks. It will give you boosts for your Underspire, but again, that's real money you're going to have to spend to get that. So we'll go over the Deep, Spy, uh, Deep Shrine another time. As you can see, it's not active right now. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you think about this update with the under, well, this part of the update. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.